I'm going to be reviewing some videos by Noel Dazel. All that I know about this guy is that he's a 39-year-old drug addict. The first video is called, if you're in your 20s, you must watch this. There's some kind of trend going on right now of guys who completely failed at life giving advice to guys in their 20s. What is something I can focus on to improve my mindset? I'm 18 years old, getting my first job in the corporate world as an assistant. I know this is not what I'm going to do forever, but I want to learn and grow in and out of the gym. Any advice? This reminds me so much of my younger self. I can't speak. Wow, he looks since. Teeter and tellers ever try this type of melon? That is a durian. I have tried a durian. They're fucking terrible. Thanks for the donation, T. Insanely old. We're a 39 year old. The condition of his skin is uh, nuts, but that's because of all the drugs. He looks like he's at the very least 50. And um, that's actually mostly what you grow or age in the gym. It's your skin. <laughs> the more you go to the gym, the more you stress your body, the more you will age your skin, obviously. You because I don't know your life and circumstances, but if I could talk to my younger self, these are a few things that I would say. Support some backstory. A lot of you guys have watched my videos may not this already. So I grew up in South Africa and a single mother provided for me. Of course, a single mother. It's usually guys who didn't have a father or a good father, no actual so-called father figure in their life, who end up using drugs, any kind of drugs. So the drugs that bodybuilders use are no better to live a better life. Um, super typical. He does that. And when you do what a slave does, then you're always going to be depressed. Get a to-do list and write down everything you need to do. I do this every single day. You should never do this under any circumstances. You should only do exactly what you want to do in life. Always. You should never force yourself to do anything or do a to-do list because only a slave does that. And when you do what a slave does, then you're always going to be depressed and miserable if you're right. Yes, because if you don't want to brush your teeth, just don't brush your teeth and have your teeth rot out of your skull and you'll be better off, right? Name the tr Write down what you need to do, then it must be something that you don't want to do. Because if it was something that you would want to do, then you would not need to remind yourself to do it. It's what you naturally want to do. You don't need anybody to tell you, especially yourself, that you want to do it. What we naturally want to do is uh, reproduce, we want to eat good food, uh, some other stuff, which I can't mention on YouTube. You will never need anybody to tell you to do this. <laughs> it's such nonsense. He's such a slave. I even go as deep as replying to people's text messages. Because so often we've got so much going on that we forget minor tasks. And even if you don't have a lot going on, starting your day with a to-do list gives you purpose. And checking things off active. No, slaves who don't have a purpose, or at least uh, they don't realize what their purpose is, will do this. Because they live in slavery, they have invisible chains around them, and they feel like they can never do what they actually want to do, which is why they will try to cope and uh, do all of this nonsense, such as uh, taking drugs, going to the gym. Then you write down, how much trend do I need to take today? This is a guy who has suffered from suicidal depression for quite a while. He's threatened to kill himself multiple fucking times. And he's on the run from the fucking police. He's wanted by Interpol. He tried to kill his ex-girlfriend. And then he's... And, like, he lives off of just begging people for money online. Like, he he doesn't make any actual money from anything he does. He just has weird sycophants who just give him large sums of money so that he can afford Airbnbs. And, and then he's telling you, yeah, having life goals and setting daily goals for yourself... Like, that's a bad idea, right? Because you want to live like this guy. A fucking depressed loser who can't get over fucking breakups and tries to kill his ex-girlfriend and then is on the run from the fucking police, can't get a job, lives in a foreign country where he doesn't speak the fucking language, and he has to rely on random people's fucking generosity just so that he can have a roof over his head. Fucking idiot. the drug which cows get to get bigger. <laughs> Best reward centers in your mind. Whatever you don't check off, move them to the next day. But bottom line, see how you can make your life more efficient. Because that way, you can do more and achieve more. Don't be like him. Yes, but you reduced your lifespan by decades at this point. How is that efficient? How are you going to achieve more? This guy is probably going to kill himself in a jail cell. If you will die sooner than most people on earth. For me and be more efficient. So when I was around 18, I wanted to be an accountant or a lawyer or a doctor because I made the most money. I wanted that to... Yeah, exactly. It's very clear because you grew up poor. ...security for myself and my future family. But what happens if I find myself in a career that made me absolutely miserable? See, we spend so much time working in our life. And if you have the luxury to choose your work, rather choose something that's going to bring you long-term happiness rather than money right away. I like to think of it like this. Yeah, you seem very happy, man. <laughs> the happiness is just pouring out of you. Write down this to be happy. I will take these drugs today. I am so happy because I'm rich now. And their bodies 
would quit tomorrow. It's just because of guys like this, this 39 year old who looks like he's over 50, who tell people that it is hell. He looks like he's about 39. See that people even continue working out. If it wasn't for liars like him, uh, this whole industry would be very small. Hardly anybody would be doing it. The fitness, finance, and health industries get it the most. Liver King is a fantastic, blatant example of what I'm talking about. The vast majority of people viewed his content as ridiculous and did not believe it, but a large segment of people did believe it. And they started eating raw organs to be a natural, primal, like the Liver King, you know, being jacked. He stole these titles. Um, the primal diet comes from Algenus Wonder Planets. He wrote the book, We Want to Live and the Recipe for Living Without Disease. And uh, I'm 100% sure that he started eating raw meat because of me. He's completely fake, obviously. At this fuck from the testosterone boosting organs. So we all know how that ended up. Yeah, yeah. The emails showed the copious amounts of steroids that he was taking. So what? You're on steroids yourself. He was lying about it. Yeah, that's messed up. If that's what he means, I agree with him. But uh, you would have to be insanely blind not to see that he's on steroids. Everybody. Uh, Noel Diesel admits to using steroids. It wasn't completely the original solid. And some of it more doses than professional Olympian bodybuilders. Meaning that so much was a lie in order to sell products. Now, of course. That's true. Yeah, he is completely fake. Yeah, that's messed up, of course. But uh, at the same time, you're lying to people saying that you will better yourself in the gym, even though you only destroy your health and everybody wants to be healthy. Not every creator is employing these tactics because there really is oh, a useful life changing content out there on social media. It's just about viewing all the content that you consume critically and forming your own opinion rather than blindly following someone else's. That's good advice in general. Yeah. Around two years ago, I was at an event and I met an extremely wealthy man in the Middle East. He owns one of the largest construction companies in the region. And in conversation, he said to me, if I had the power and reach that you had, I would rule the world. Initially, I was kind of weirded out by that statement. So it made me come to the realization that all of our platforms are so large that we can all reach so many people at the click of a button and we can change the course of society. Yes, this is very true. It has made me even think of uh, what would have been if I made a really mainstream channel. I just try to appeal to everybody. I would know how to do this because uh, I've been using YouTube for so long. I know exactly how to easily get people to like you, which is uh, how most of the YouTubers do it. They just don't touch topics which are sensitive. And uh, then you could slowly... By the way, this guy has uploaded videos talking about how he thinks child rape is a good thing and how he thinks parents should have sex with their children. This is the YouTube expert, supposedly. Uh, spit out these truths in between, and that's how you could actually get people to learn the truth about raw meat. You go to a restaurant, for example, and you eat some raw meat, which is acceptable. And then you start saying how much better you feel. It would be so easy. You could do it. It's a lot of work because you would have to do it probably for a few years or at least one year to really get a large audience. And then you would slowly have to introduce actual truths to the people. You would have to be completely fake for at least a year and then start uh, spitting some actual truth. But uh, it could be worth it. Maybe somebody else could do it. Uh, this guy, for example, he doesn't understand that eating organs, especially raw organs, is the best that you can do for your health. Instead, he talks about bodybuilding and the uh, his physique. I do think. Yes, um, it's a defense mechanism of the onions. They don't want to be eaten. That's why they release the poison, which makes you cry. It only makes you cry because you're a bigger animal. It's supposed to kill insects. It makes you cry because it has a high amount of sulfur. When insects are confronted with this poison, then uh, they slowly die. Yeah, where people send through a few techniques or a few tips on how to prevent tearing, but yeah, I just go with the slight stuff. Yeah, exactly. You should uh, learn some techniques on how to prevent tearing when eating something poisonous instead of not eating something poisonous in the first place. <laughs> Great logic. Time saving and tear saving. Hmm? Sorry, uh, the onion accidentally fell out of the, the trolley, so we just made a little bit of a mess here. Sorry, man. I'm not talking about tearing out behind the burning oven. Can I help you with that? You sure? The it's unhealthy, but uh, I just still don't get why you promote it as if it will help you with your so-called gains. And you don't even gain anything anyway. When you go to the gym, you simply maintain. That's all that you do. You keep going to the gym three, four, five times a week because you cannot build muscle. All that you do is keep pumping yourself up, trying to maintain this unnatural physique. Once you stop, your body goes back to its natural state. You haven't built anything. This guy has been simply maintained. You can't do it I Maintaining an unnatural tumor like physique for 20 years or whatever with the help of drugs and going to the gym all the time. <laughs> he hasn't built anything. Still time saving event. So, we have blows my mind, and I never read about this previously, but here we have the frozen vegetables, and directly opposite, we have all these sweets and chocolates. The sweets and chocolates are way healthier than the vegetables, or what is your point? How in the hell can he think that? He thinks Oreos are better for you than broccoli. That is intentional. I want to distract you, sway you. Be like, oh, I mean, I could have put dog food here. And it's just like, oh, okay, I'm just, it's easy choice. I'm just getting some vegetables. Oh, I'm not going to eat dog food, but I might need dog food. I have a pet. But yeah, it's like, oh, shit. Dog food would also be way healthier than uh, vegetables. Way healthier. Look at 
Around you, just takes a little bit longer to prepare. You're sitting there, you're breaking it up, constantly turning it, so you have to actually be manning it very hands on to the preparation. You're constantly turning it when you're cooking it. You could also just eat it raw. I don't know if you can eat that specific meat raw, but in general, what would be the problem if it's good quality meat? You want to go up a bit lower, so this is 93% lean, so it's going to go 7% fat. So you can see just by looking at this, it looks a lot leaner than some of the other ones. Like, look at this, for example. You should never eat lean meat. Uh, this drug addict seems to forget that most people on Earth are not on drugs. They don't get testosterone externally. It's produced in your body, and without fat, you're not going to produce any testosterone. The precursor. Yeah, so most people get enough fat in their diet, and I, he, he also doesn't understand how testosterone is made. Sir, to testosterone is cholesterol. It's just impossible to have testosterone on a low-fat diet. Okay. That is not true. I mean, that's just 90% lean, but you can really see the difference in color and the difference in terms of the amount of fat that's in there. All right, so here we are on the chicken side. Here we got some nice big breasts. The breasts, again, don't have any fat. What are you teaching people here? You don't get that uh, the guys who don't use drugs won't be able to make any kind of so-called gains. If they eat vegetables, which are not only useless, they are actually going to make your muscles shrink. And uh, meat without fat, what are you going to achieve? Nothing. But these are so fucking tasty. I don't know why I switched to a British accent there, but these are fucking tasty as hell. Except we have sauce. Obviously, you speak with a British accent because you come from South Africa, which was a British colony. That's where it is. Bodybuilders eating no idea about this whatsoever. They have no idea about diet. Uh, in South Africa, they speak Dutch, so... I've never seen any bodybuilder who has any idea about any diets. And by the way, don't misquote me here. Sweets are insanely unhealthy. It's just that rice is so much unhealthier. And I'm going to show you guys some of the fundamental spices that I think you should have in your spice drawer in order to season your food. So we have garlic powder, onion. All spices are toxic. That's why you use very small amounts. If you would uh, try to open up the lid and uh, gulp down all of it, then you would be hospitalized right away. That says it all. And powder. You have some chili powder, some cayenne pepper, paprika, some raw cinnamon, and just use those and season your food. Maybe. All right, well, Sparage is still retarded, but we already knew that. Um, all right.